Right, welcome to day 18 of the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths, keeping the math skills bubbling over for year one and year two uh, while we can't be in school. Um, just to let you know that today is another one of those days when we've got um, something to print out if you want to, to uh, go along with today's activities. Um, it's got, uh, the same as last time, it's got a, a paper ruler that you can print out and cut up, or if you did it yesterday you can use that one again. And um, uh, there's some activities to measure and I'll, I'll tell you about those a bit later on. Um, okay, please make sure you're sat with an adult. Uh, please join in and call out. Um, uh, love your mistakes. Uh, the only way we learn is by making our, our mistakes and spotting them. Okay, we're going to be carrying on with our counting backwards. We're going to play Whack a Mole, which is a link I'll put down the bottom under the video for you later. The only difference is when you start Whack a Mole, it's set to zero and steps of one. We're going to start. At, well, no, 50 odd, and we're going to go not forwards, we're going to go backwards. That's short for backwards, so I'm going to change that to backwards. So, if you want to try this later, you need to move the start number up to a bigger number and you need to change this to backwards. Okay, guys, we've got to spot someone 60. What's one less than 60? Spot that one. Ah, 59. Uh, right, one less than 59. 58. One less than 58. Well, what's one less? What's one less? Turn to your partner. Oh, 57. One less than 57, 56, one less than 56, oh, missed it, <laughs> ah, 55, ah, 54, 53, 52, what's one less than 52, 51, mm, oh yeah, 50, what's one less than 50, yeah, 49, okay, I'll leave that, so guys, if you start Whack-a-mole. The thing to remember to practice counting backwards is move this start number up, leave the counting in steps of one, and change this to backwards. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, we're going to count backwards from 94. Okay, please call out, please join in. 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 87, join in, 86, 85, 84, 83, and I'm going to turn the numbers off, we're on 83, 82, where are we now, what's that number, change your partner, yeah, 79, here we go, Right, what number are we on now? Yeah, 73, fantastic. Okay, I'm going to make you a number now. Okay, there we go. So if, if, if you've got a piece of paper and a pencil in front of you, can you write that number down? If you haven't, just write it with your finger on the table. What's that number? We've got three hundreds. We've got five and a bit. Five and one more. Six tens and one one. 361. Is that what you got? Super job, guys. Okay, here's another one. This is a tricky one. Okay, what's that number? Okay, it's got two hundreds, one ten, and five ones. Okay, uh, write it down on your piece of paper if you've got it, or write it with your finger on your table. Now, it's quite hard to say this one. Should have a look. You want to say 225, but it's 215. Okay, let's try another one. Okay. Write that one down for me, or write it with your finger on the table. Can you say it? Yeah, let's have a look. There's five hundreds, five hundreds. There's zero ten. So we've got a placeholder in here. The zero sits there. And one one five hundred and one. Good job, guys. Okay, now this is going to help us. We're going to play lifeguards, and it's going to help us with the meaning of the numbers that are um, on our when we were reading scales. So we can see we've got all these little lines, a bit like on, on a weighing scales, a bit like on a ruler, where you've got all these tiny lines, um, but there's no numbers on them. They don't fit. So uh, now, because we've waited long enough, the little chap has called out saying he's on 77. So I'm going to put seven tens on there. We'll actually move that so you can see it. Seven tens on there. And 
seven ones. Whoa, it's going to take me a moment. Hang on. And then we go rescue him. What does he say? Yay! Oh, we've got a heart. Okay, here's our next one. Right. Now, guys, can you write for me in tens and and ones, tens and units, that could be an uh, a HTU, can you write in tens and ones how to make that number? I'll wait for you to do that. Yeah, two tens and six ones. And you know what's really helpful to me for 26 is I can see this little line is halfway between 20 and 30. This little line means it's 25 and it's one more than that. So it's 26. OK, next one. Uh, now, OK, easy one. So again, that little line tells me it's five. It's more than five. Two more than five. It's seven. Ooh, give me a minute to get it all on. Okay, rescue him. Thanks. Okay, here comes our next one. Right, what's that number? Can you make it with tens and ones? Yeah, 19. This might take me a minute because <laughs> there's nine ones to get on there. Ah! Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Zzz. Pew! Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the menu and we'll choose a harder one. Oh! <laughs> right, so he's going to tell us where he is. He's on 226. We're at 200, 10, 20, and it's past the middle. It's 226. How would you make that with tens, hundreds, tens and ones? Can you make that for me? I'll make it too. Two hundreds, two tens, and six ones. Is that how you did it? Good job. Okay, let's try the next one. Right, it's going to be four hundred and something, four hundred and ten, four hundred and fifteen. How would you make that? Give you a minute to draw that for me. Draw that for me. Four hundreds. How many tens? Just the one ten. And five ones. Let's go rescue him. Yay! All good. There we go. I'll put the link to that. You can have a go um, at the end. Let me just remind myself to put a link. OK. OK, we're going to have a little practice at our doubles. We, now, the thing that people tell me, um, I'm a, a year one and two teacher, and the thing that people tell me in uh, the junior school is children come up to juniors not knowing their doubles, guys. So we really need to make sure that we're getting, when we go to year three, that we know our doubles before we get there. So here we go. Double six. What's double six? Turn to your partner. Double six. Yeah, it's 12. Double zero. Oh, easy one. Zero. Double three. There's three. There's another three. Double three is... Tunch partner. Fantastic. Oh, we'll just skip that one. Double four. What's double four? Yeah, eight. Double nine. One people forget. Five and five is ten. Nine is made out of five and four. Two fours make eight, so ten and eight. What is it? It's eighteen. Double seven. Fourteen. Good job. Last one. Double six. Don't your partner double six? Yeah, twelve. Okay, fantastic. Okay, right. Now we're going to go to our um, work that we've got uh, on our printout. And we've got this ruler, the printout ruler, OK? And the thing about this ruler is quite often people forget they are, when they're measuring with their ruler, they put the end of the 
plastic part of the ruler up to the end of the line and they don't look they just look straight to the end and go oh where are we now oh i don't know it's four and a bit we've got to make sure there's zero guys there's zero this is the start of where the ruler starts from the zero has got to go up to that do the start of the line now i can look across and say ah that's five centimeters and oh sorry and then i can write uh oh sorry it would be good if i wrote it in a color that you could see um <laughs> i've got i got rid of all my colors hang on bear with me Sorry. Oops. There we go. Let's try the next one. So measuring CD. Length CD is something centimetres. So again, look, adjust, adjust, move it about a bit. Don't get the end of the plastic on the dot. Get the end of the ruler where the zero is starts there. Now we can move across. It's nice to run your finger across. Where do we finish? Seven centimetres. There we go. I can write seven centimeters in there. Okay, so we've got a few more of those. If I come across, uh, I've got to get rid of my extra rulers that I've got on here just to help me. Okay, if I come across here, you've got, I'm sorry, my screen goes across. Yours will be different um, when you because you printed it out. Now we've got vertical lines, lines that go up and down. So you're going to have to move your ruler about so that it's this way. And again, look, don't make my mistake I'm making here. Don't get the end of the plastic up to get, get the end of the, the zero, the end of the ruler to that dot. Come all the way down and then measure from there. Okay, once you finish that page, we've got a spaceship designer. You've become a spaceship designer. You've got to measure all the parts of this spaceship uh, the intergalactic league need to know all the parts of this spaceship they need them measured so uh, that's your job at the end of that okay guys uh, your reward uh, we're going to finish there for today your reward is you get now have you ever seen a horse with wings a horse with wings from greek mythology is called a pegasus so from now on, when it's time, when we get to go back to school again, you get to go to school on a Pegasus. Or when you get to meet him, uh, go down the shops, uh, you get to go to school on a Pegasus. Imagine landing in the car park with a winged horse. It'd be awesome. Okay, guys, super job. See you next time.